Hey, first grade, let's check in, make sure we're looking at the right paper. You should be looking for level two, DIY three. In this activity, we are going to practice using number lines to solve subtraction problems. We're going to do a, a couple together. Let me zoom in. All right, so let's look at the equation 9 minus 3 equals something. This first digit right here, that greater number, is my start number. So here I have a start number of 9. I'm going to go to my number line. I'm going to find the number 9. And I'm going to draw a dot just above my start number 9. Now this number here, 3, tells me how many hops I'm going to make. With subtraction, we move down the number line. We're going to be decreasing. Or you could think of it as going left on the number line. So this problem tells me to start on 9 and take 3 hops. Watch closely how I draw these hops. 1 hop, 2 hops, 3 hops. I can very clearly see that I've taken one, two, three hops. And I've landed on the number six. Now, I'm working with a marker for demonstration purposes. You should absolutely not have a marker. You should have a pencil in your hand for this activity. All right, let's look at the next one, see if I can make it even bigger. Okay. Here we have six minus four equals something. Six is my start number. So let's go draw a number on six. I'm sorry, a dot on six. Four is my hop number. Let's go draw four hops going down the number line. One hop, two hops, three hops, four hops. And I've landed on the number two. Now one of the tricky things about the hops is you need to make sure that when you draw a hop, you're touching these little lines here. Those little lines that you see on the number line, like this going up and down, those are called ticks. And you want to make sure that you hit every tick before you move on to your next hop. All right, I'm going to model one more for you, and then you guys are going to rock and roll on your own. All right, let's check out 8 minus 1 equals something. 8 is the start number. Draw a dot on 8. 1 is my hop number. Draw one hop. One hop. And I landed on 7. All right, my friends, now it's your turns to show us what you know about solving subtraction problems on a number line.